Hey guys, Hardy here from ecomhardy.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to import the products from WooCommerce to Shopify with the free plugin. So stay tuned, watch this video till the end and do not miss out any single step because those are very crucial. I have created this video in past but I found a lot of people were still struggling with a few of the questions which I'm going to answer them in this video as well. So let's get started. Now let me go to WordPress admin panel here and search for the plugins and new plugins and I would search for Woo to Shopify. So this is the plugin called W2S Migrate WooCommerce to Shopify. This is the one and only plugin I found so far which works best. So I quickly install now. This plugin is developed by Villa Theme. Activate. Now once the plugin is installed and activated what you have to do is you have to create the Shopify account if you don't have already. You may get three months for just one dollar per month if you follow my link ecomhari.com forward slash shopify here if you go to that link it will give you one dollar per month for three months entirely and it will allow you to use the shopify for three months for just three dollars so do not miss it out feel free to check it out the link ecomhari.com forward slash shopify but i assume you might have already a shopify account then simply go to the shopify admin panel and go to the settings here and go to domains and just stay here for now now go back to wordpress admin panel and simply Simply open that plugin so woo to Shopify on the left hand side panel you will see here simply click to open that plugin panel this plugin will ask three things store address API key and API access token by the way you can always check it out the guide given by the Villa theme itself now be mindful this plugin has some restrictive use because it's free of cost and also some of my viewers and subscribers have complained that Shopify is not allowing to import the products from WooCommerce to Shopify and it is showing the error code fair use policy. What is the fair use policy? If you be Shopify, if you search in Google, it will show you the fair use policy terms. So this is the Shopify acceptable use policy. Just have a look at the policy or terms and conditions given here. If you are misusing the Shopify, then of course Shopify will block your account. If you have more than few thousand products, from WooCommerce and you want to import them to Shopify. Be mindful, make sure you operate this thing in chunks, like 50 products at a time or 100 products at a time. Now let me close the other tabs and go to Shopify admin panel. Here I have the link address of my Shopify website. So this is the Shopify website link or URL link you need, some numbers.myshopify.com. Simply copy that and then here you put the store address there. Now another thing you need is the API key and API access token. Where do you get it? It is very simple. Let me show you. Go back to your Shopify admin panel here and go to apps and sales channel and here simply click develop apps and now we're gonna develop or create one app. So create an app. Give any name you want. So in my case I will give a name like Dlabs who to Shopify. So that's a simple name. Doesn't matter what name you give. It is just for your reference only. Create an app. Once the app is created simply go to API credentials and here configure API access scopes. Now search for products or product and here you will find the products. Simply tick two tick boxes, write products and read products, okay? Once you give an access write product and read products, simply save changes. Once you save the changes here, go back to API credentials, then select access tokens, okay? So install app, install now or install. Once the app is installed under the admin API access token, simply reveal the token once and that will reveal the token key. Simply copy that token key. Remember, this is admin API access token key. So simply copy that token key and go back to your WooCommerce and under the API access token square box, paste the token key here. Now go back to Shopify again, scroll down and here is the API key and secret key. Simply copy that, go back and under the API key, simply paste that one as well. Once you added all the keys, simply scroll down and check other tabs as well. So here are the import product options. So simple and variable, make sure both are selected and include products. You can select if you want to include specific products only, but I will keep it blank. If you want to exclude particular type of products, you can always add them include the include by product categories so if you have any specific categories you want to import from WooCommerce to Shopify of course you can add from here and then from and to dates but I will leave everything blank I will also make sure these are enabled and here publish means active draft means draft and pending review means archived so these are the synonyms from WooCommerce to Shopify simply save changes here 
once you save the changes this tab will open up so of course you can always expand the general settings from here but i will close it now if i scroll down here you see here the progress panel and progress of product categories panel now before i start let me open the products i have so all products i have only few number of products so these are the only products and total number of products are just 18. in your case it could be 100 products as well after that i just simply click import and it will start importing all the products from here to my shopify website so i close the tab on shopify go to products here and i will go and select this sort panel and created and sort by newest first and i can check the imported products here so you can see it has started importing already so this one is the one from WooCommerce. This is also the one from WooCommerce. This is importing. I can refresh the page and see more products has been imported as well. So it is keep importing the products. Now you can see the progress bar here. It has imported about 39% already. So seven out of 18. If you have more number of products, it may take a lot of time as well. So be careful, just import in small chunks if it's possible now i can see the progress bar is up to 62 percent i can go back to shopify here refresh the page and see whether more products has been imported or not so refresh and voila yes more products are being imported as well now let me open any of the product and see whether it is looking all right or not so i click to view on online store and here is the product with all the photos name of the product price of the product i can scroll down and the description is imported as well of course you might see some errors in the description because the html formatting followed in woocommerce versus the shopify is totally different and the Shopify doesn't support that HTML formatting properly. If you are importing all these products, make sure you correct the HTML formatting. So just imagine if I want to fix this particular product, I can open that product in new tab here. And if I go to the product description here, I can see everything is in the one line, whereas it's supposed to be like name first and then part number here. The brand is here. Fuel type is petrol package included is this much i can bold the fonts I can make sure i can fix the spacing and i can also make sure everything looks all right now once it's done simply save changes so you might have to manually update the descriptions one by one but it is up to you by giving this kind of description formatting it doesn't harm as well now let me go back to woocommerce and see whether all products has been imported so now i can see 16 products out of 18 was imported and there were like two products showing up the error so let me refresh here and see whether the products are imported properly or not altogether 16 products has been imported so that is, that is correct at any point if you need more information about the import what you can do is simply go to the logs here and if you click to the logs it will show up so simply click to view and it will open up the new panel where you can see the log data here which is good now i can close that i can go to the system status as well and see whether the system is working correctly the php time limit is 30 which is very low if you are importing large capacity of products of course make sure you go to the hosting service provider panel and increase the php time limit from there now the clear data settings will help you to clear all the data you have processed through this plugin if you go to try premium version here it will show you what sort of features it offers so of course i'm not affiliated to this plugin anyway i'm not promoting this plugin but it is very helpful plugin to me yes and if i need to import large number of products of course i can consider going to the premium plugin as well you can see here unlimited data migration to shopify so you're free to migrate data from woocommerce to shopify there is no limit on how much data you can import you don't need to pay an extra fee to just import as many as you want so with this premium plugin yes you can import thousands and thousands of products again at the end if you go to ecomhardy.com forward slash shopify if you haven't signed up with shopify you can always take an advantage of three months for just three dollars so one dollar per month for three months entirely feel to check it out if you haven't yet and if you already then congratulations hope this video has been helpful to you and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment in the comment box below i would love to answer you as soon as possible if you're here for the first time subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the future videos also please thumbs up to this video if you like this video that will encourage me to make more videos on this channel until next time stay safe take care see you next time
Bye-bye.